This is a showcase of Airflow Lab's 737 FMS simulator, which is now in development for Airflow Lab's 737 MAX aircraft for X-Plane 12. The purpose of this video is not to teach how to operate the FMS, but rather to show where we are with the development. So let's start with entering our flight plan. We will be flying from JFK to Detroit Metropolitan Airport. First, we will go to the route page and enter both departure and arrival airports. Next, we will switch over to departure and arrivals page and enter correct procedures. We'll be flying off runway 31 left via D's 5 procedure and candor transition. And we will be arriving to ILS runway 04 left via KLY Inc. 3 procedure in COZAR transition. Now we will switch over to route page again and enter in route data for our flight plan. So after the departure, we will head directly to Guile, then via route J95, to CFB. Then we will continue to TRAAD. And our last waypoint is JACCI. Once this is done, we can switch over to the legs page and verify that we have set up everything correctly. Let's switch our navigation display to plan mode and we can go through all the legs we have in our current flight plan. We do not have implemented uh, vertical navigation nor performance calculations yet. So let's focus on lateral navigation for now. So let's say everything looks as we want to, so we can switch to route page and activate the route. Our flight plan is now complete, so let's go through some basic route editing. We will be creating new waypoint before CESID. And another off route waypoint. After the CSID, as it is off route, we have to connect it with subsequent waypoints. We can also edit root holds, so let's head over to our hold. Now we go to a hold page. And we can change any hold parameters like hold leg time. Inbound course. Direction.
we can also create new hold. So let's create one at the Yankee Waypoint. That's it. Also, we have implemented a fix info page where you can let the FMS display radial and distance information from specific waypoints of your choice. So let's enter the Yankee uh, waypoint and Let's display a circle at a distance of five miles and seven miles. Or another circle with a radial at CESED Waypoint, the other feature I'd like to show is the creation of a root offset. So let's first head over to the legs page. We will be creating the offset from the waypoint gale. We'll go to the offset page. We'll be creating a left offset of two miles and we will get unable to offset message because the offset couldn't be constructed from the actual aircraft position. So we have to enter the starting waypoint gale. And now we can see the offset. We can also change the offset distance or the side. We can also terminate the offset at any weight point. 